guys, it's Aiden here. Welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Park. This is episode six. And today we're starting off at eight in the morning, walking to the Ion station. Uh, today's gonna be a bit of an interesting episode. We're gonna, this is gonna be just a two, two day little tri mini travel series into Toronto. Just because uh, I chose to take the, de take the day off today because I have a lot of overtime hours. I'll explain a little bit once I'm inside the, tra the tra tra trains and stuff, but March has been an interesting month. So first things first, I'm just walking to Ion Rail Station. We're going down to Kitchener Central Go. Then I'm taking the Go train straight into um, Toronto Union Station. So this is gonna be interesting. First time properly doing that. So let's go. Okay, we just got off the island. Now I'm just walking into the, this, I think this is Victoria Street. Uh, where's Weber? Should be all the way at the end. So that's where the, the go, Kitchener Go Station is. I think from there it's a one hour, 45 minute train ride. So, you know, uh, I think it's a little, just a, a bit longer than if we were to like get there by car somehow, but then obviously I don't have a car, so I'm not doing that. But you know, it's gonna be an interesting experience for say at least. I'll explain more about what's going on once I get in the train itself, actually. All right, I think that should be it. That's the kitchen of your session there. Much smaller than I expected, to be honest. Of our carry-on baggage policy, for a safer and more enjoyable travel experience. Please take a look around, make sure you have all your belongings and make your way to the nearest exit. I've made it to Union. Well, I never really had time to talk in the train because I didn't want to really disturb others. There was a lot of people, well, not really not that much, but like, you know, people sitting next to me. Just, I just, I'd rather be considerate, you know? I don't want to be one of those like edgy vloggers that are really loud and stuff. But yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty smooth, right? Time's currently 10, almost 10.40. So just about on time for the most part, which is good. An hour, 45 minutes or so. The scenery was good. Go train, you know? I never had high hopes for like public transit around here, but you know, for something like that, just to get around the, the GTA era, you know, it's good enough. Like, it has its flaws, but it's good enough. So, I still haven't told you to plan yet, so I'm gonna just walk over to the harbor front where I can just chill for a bit. Then let's go get some food, and I'll just tell you what's planned for today. And honestly, this view here is what one I really like. You get to see all the train tracks in front and behind you on the bridge. Then we look back this way, as you can see up there. Wait, let me actually stand in view. Okay, that's, I can't do that, but I'll show Now, this is my definition of big city. CN Tower right here, just standing right below it. You know, being a, like Toronto being the proper big city here along with Vancouver, this is the kind of big city I'm used to, you know. Looking at Waterloo, uh, Guelph, when I was passing by in a GO train, honestly, everything felt like the central area is developed up with taller buildings. Not, I wouldn't call it tall, but taller buildings. But everything else is just very suburban, rural in that sense. So, you know, so now that I'm back here in Toronto again, you know, it feels good just to see, to see what, what a real, the proper big city life is kind of like. You know, you see tourist attractions everywhere. The Ripley Aquarium right here, the CN Tower, right? I'm right with the sandy below it. So, yeah, it's cool. So, let's head to the harbor front now. And also, I will say, seeing public transport, double-decker buses again is also really nice to see. Because I was coming here last time, I took the GO buses from the University of Waterloo bus from Mr. Bramley, which was, you know, it was it's flexible, but seeing double-decker buses are getting nice. And back here in the city, you know, streetcars everywhere reminds me of trams back at home. Or just, the, just having buses around in general, TTC. You know, TTC isn't the best, but you know, it's better than, honestly, it's better than nothing. So, yeah, pretty... So it's a huge cultural shock for me in the first part, you know, just the urban style, cultural style around here. But you know, a lot of Asians around here as well. So like, I'm honestly quite fine with it. Okay, I really hope that I timed this perfectly. There we go. One of the best parts about the waterfront here, you can see, you can see plane spotting. Isn't that just wonderful there? One thing I love, absolutely love about this harbor front, other than the fact that there's an actual big water body. Pretty good if you ask me. Yeah, let's actually talk about why I'm actually here. Well, it's mainly just to hang out with friends, honestly, and oh, 
this view in the background I love so much. Big city buildings, you can see the CN Tower, Harborfront, can't complain, can I? So yeah, mostly just here to see friends and I want to just explore some of the Asian food around here in Toronto a bit more because like, you know, a lot of Asian people here in general. So might as well see what they have to offer because I know there are some, a lot of Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Chinese, well, Portuguese is not Asian, but like, you get my point. A lot of food varieties here in Toronto, so I figured I want to try some options these few days. So. Yeah, I find a lot of the restaurants, even some of the opening hours on Google Maps aren't even accurate. So change of plans, I'm here in Chinatown. Because Chinese food then. So you can see this kind of thing, like this is considered like fast food, quick stuff in China, back in China and it's really cheap. But like obviously here it's more expensive, plus it's like Toronto downtown cost of living has gone up rapidly. But yeah, just the simple idea is you pick your ingredients yourself, you know, meat, vegetables, seafood, whatever. Just choose, and people here are friendly as well, so that's nice. I just got a mix of things that you can see from what I ordered, and yeah, I want to see if we need to. My overall thoughts, the soup was just rich enough, spice punched for well. I could have gone spicier, but I decided to go easy. Vegetables were fresh, preparation style was what I'd expected and traditional, the meatball and ingredients were flavorful, then again it wasn't the best but it was still decent but then again this is a chain restaurant so you can't really expect too much from them overall but I would say not bad. Okay, just finished that. That honestly wasn't too bad, you know. Here in Chinatown is kind of about, about what I expect because after all like you don't see any of this stuff here in Waterloo so yeah, I'm just strolling around Chinatown at the moment so uh a lot of electronic stores around here so it feels like home a lot of restaurants around here all those is expected because it's chinatown i still have an hour until i'm gonna meet my friend back at union so i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm just probably just gonna walk around here if i'm gonna be completely honest oh crap i just realized i'm walking the wrong direction i'm walking north i'm supposed to be walking south Okay, we've teleported to... Where the hell are we? Down here? Uh, good question. We're somewhere near Young... Somewhere near Young and Dundas Court, that's all I know. Can you see the search? We're what? We're helping him search for a gift card shop. Apparently there's one around here. I don't know whether he's trolling me, but... Uh, I think there is. There uh, better be. I hope. I don't know. I don't want to be going insane. Uh, we'll find we'll find one eventually. So I'll see, see you in a few Trust. hours, I Trust. guess. So, how long has it been since you've been in Ikea? Uh, it has been at least two years. Oh god, it's been like, since, I haven't been in Ikea since December. But yeah, we're here in the downtown one, which is nice, obviously. I mean, it looks it looks big, that's for sure. Uh, what, what are we doing here again? What are we looking uh, for? I don't know. Just oh yeah, true, it was, around, it was around the area, so we just decided to explore, because why not? This is peak Ikea experience right here. Like, look at this. Business statistics, probability distributions, and a wonderful engineering laptop. Detachable, wow, these are made in Brazil. Cool, yeah. Top tier Apple manufacturing. It's never an IKEA without meatballs, am I right, Damir? Yeah, I love the meatball part. I don't like the chicken part. It's pretty perfect. Tastes like what you expected to be? Yes. That's good, that, that's good news to me. On the peas? You dropped all the peas oh, into no. my sauce. Oh, no. How could you? Oh my god. I hate peas. Peas are the worst. Tastes like how I remember it. It's good to know. And the sauce is good as always. It's a little bit different now. I see what you mean. Tiny bit sweeter. It's usually like more, more brown as well. Oh, and it's brown. Well, yeah, the color is usually slightly darker from what I remember. But I mean, it, it was still okay meatball, so I'll gladly take it. We met up with one of our other friends and she brought us to a Lanjo beef noodle store. I picked the thick noodles on the menu. The texture was honestly great and the noodles were perfectly cooked and a bit chewy. The broth was rich and flavorful and the pickled mustard just made it so much better. The spicy aftertaste from the chili oil in the soup makes it a huge party in your mouth overall. Of course, you can't forget the mango fruit tea to wash it down. Uh, the beef quality here in Canada compared to what they find in Hong Kong is so much better in my opinion. Never would I have thought I'd have this guy store a suitcase in Pizza Pizza of all places. Talk about, talk about downtown shenanigans. 
ten dollars. Interesting. And now this on to on to Union. When's the when's the next train? Uh, the next one is at thirty, but like I'm missing it. What the, the next, next one is in fifteen minutes after oh, that. Oh, 45, Okay, doable, 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 doable. Good fight. <laughs> I just parallel video this guy. We'll see you in two weeks. Sorry. Two weeks. Two, weeks. Two, two free weeks. All right, see ya. So, time's almost seven p.m. I already we had dinner. Me and my friends had dinner at like uh, like four thirty, five p.m. You know, so early dinner because they wanted to, but you know, that's fine. I gotta spend time with them and that's honestly that's the best part I, and I honestly want to get like a drink from a Starbucks or something but like should I? I huh, know I'm just walking back to the, to the to the hostel right now so I guess we'll see you next see you later honestly in the second part there's a, there's a bubble tea store there so I'd rather get some food here just with no sugar so otherwise uh, too sweet for me otherwise yeah let's go alright uh, I'll get a um, regular sized uh, milk tea with uh, tapioca uh, a little sugar, please. Uh, no noise. Not bad, it silk smooth at least. It's not like the ones I expect. The tabiota is not bad at all, so it's not too hard, not too sharp. Chill. In terms of quality, not bad. And I mean, it's not a soup, but I did ask for the sugar, so there's that. Yeah, off to the hostel good. Quick room tour. It's nothing too special, but you know, it's a cheap hostel, hotel. Well, it's technically a hotel, but it's cheap. It's just in this downtown area, and it's not, I guess, basic stuff, nothing crazy, but you know, it works. Like, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a decent sized bed. Like, it's basically a double bed as well, which is nice. You know, there's even a TV that's not even too, I don't think it's too bad. It's. It looks at least it doesn't look ancient. At least there's that in your smoke desk. There's no proper storage area, but literally all I have is my bag of me, so not a big deal. And at least it has like air conditioning kind of thing. And at least there is some like natural light. Like sure, it's technically slightly underground, but you know not a big deal. And if I come over here, and the bathroom and the bathroom honestly isn't too bad. At least at least there's, it's a proper mar marbled area. And yeah, it's actually it's also actually okay. Like it's not the best. It's not luxury by any means, it's not supposed to be, but you know, it, for one night, this works. Tomorrow, I have like a lot of noodle stuff today, so I want something more rice related tomorrow. So maybe Korean, Japanese, or maybe even Portuguese. I'm just gonna chill, watch some YouTube, do some video editing of this vlog, and I'll see you guys for tomorrow then. Okay, I know where I'm going then. Given the time, it's gonna take a while to get there anyway, so I'm definitely gonna head over to Korea Town. Korean town to get food. Then we'll go to Bay and Bloor and just uh, exp and just explore around there. Then honestly, given this winter weather, I'm just gonna watch the John Wick movie in the Scotia Bank Arena or whichever one has the most reasonable time. Then after that, we'll just walk around the area. Then you're gonna get dinner and then leave and head back to Waterloo. Bloor and Bathurst, so Bathurst and Christie in between, this is Korean town. So we're just gonna see what food's there and we'll find a place. Yeah, I think I found the location I want. Well, I guess let's try it out then. Hello. Hello, this one. What do After looking through the menu, turns out I've been here before. Last time I was here, I got one of the bone broths, so this time I went for a bibimbap. And first I poured a cup of water before my nasty drink arrived. Then I was served a starter, so kimchi, green sprouts. The flavor on both were rather light, which was nice to complement the meal. It wasn't overly strong like other kimchi I've tried, but it was pickled just enough. I washed it down with some miso soup at the end, it was okay. I much prefer the kimchi, it wasn't overly salty. Then the bibimbap came, presentation was great. Of course, I had to start with breaking down the egg and just mixing all the ingredients as you see. The amount of ingredients in a bibimbap is great, and the textures really give a good crunch that complements the rice. And with the heat, it's even better. And now, there was a, even a lightly spicy bulgogi sauce that came with it overall. And the extra punch from it made it just so much better. And of course, there was some beef mixed into the bibimbap itself, and it made it so much better. It was rich, it was tasty, I don't know how much to describe it. I'm, I'm recording this in the background as I speak. 
and of course I was eating this with the kimchi and bean sprouts as I go. Overall, pretty good Korean food if you ask me. Alright, that was pretty good if you ask me. Now I'm off to Christine TTC station. Now my next plan, uh, I would say it's probably in between going to High Park just to see the cherry blossom up. No, I'm probably going to do that. And if the case, there's the case that there is no more, uh, oh, oh god, I think this is heavy. If, the, it's, if it's not blooming yet or it's still not that great, I'll probably just head over to the, the Bay and Bloor, Bloor Radio to explore. Okay, before I go catch a movie, let's look at this Bay and Bloor Radio. Just a quick exploration in here for like 15, 20 minutes. Then we're heading over to Scotia Bank Arena. Uh, yeah, a lot of hi-fi stuff, entertainment, audio gear in here, so this is gonna be so nice. So this is so which model did you say this one was? HD 800S. Oh, the 800S. I see. Yep. Oh. There you go. Oh, how nice. Okay, what model is that red one there? With the red bag. That is the Dan Clark Audio Aeon 2, the open bag, and that's the closed bag. Hmm. Is there anything interesting by Focal? Oh, yeah. Have you heard Focal before? Hmm? Have you heard Focal before? Uh, I'm pretty, I think I have once, if I remember correctly. Yep, this is tricky. If, um, the Celestia is where the Focal sound begins. Yeah, you can see all the stuff in the background. I just tested myself a lot of different different, I, different headphones, like some Focal, some Nise Audios, some Sennheisers. That was a good experience. Well worth it. I'm coming back here again next time when I have the chance. Now, it's time to catch a movie. Why do I even do this to myself? I don't even want to question what's going on here. I walk along this intersection to get to the TTC. First thing I see is four fire trucks and a police car. I don't know what is going on. Okay, change of plans. I'm, wa I'm walking over to the Scotiabank Arena all the way from here. Okay, now turns out the disruption to the TTC is because of that fire. That's why the fire trucks are there to begin with. Don't I just love the TTC infrastructure stability sometimes? What a mess it is. Eh, whatever. It's about 30 minutes to walk there so I can still make it in time for the movie. Because as long as I just reserve a ticket first, that's fine. Holy crap, I cut it so close. I'll see y'all later then. I will say, getting here... Walking here in 30 minutes across the entire from Bloor to here was definitely worth it. Now, we just have one last stop before we head back to Waterloo. Well, obviously, no spoilers on my end, but all I, all I will say is I did not expect that ending. And now, we're off to ramen. You know, overall, it's been a pretty good day today. I mean, I managed to do the things I wanted for the most part, and despite the TTC, the TTC disruptions, we managed to make it work, which is the best part. So now, ramen is nice, I'll say that for sure. And I have a countertop table as well, which is even better. I ended up going for the tonkatsu miso ramen. There was also donburi options on the menu, but I opted for ramen. First, I got a mango juice. It was fresh, but not overly sweet. Well, this ramen only had thin noodles, which was unfortunate. But the noodles were great. It picked up a lot of soup. The broth was good. Not excellent, but good. It had just enough miso aftertaste and was rich enough to complement. Sadly, the egg was a little bit overcooked, but other than that, it was marinated really well. I wish that the char shoe was more fatty and not so lean, but as far as lean meat is concerned, it's still melted in the mouth. And having a countertop table to see the making process for the ramen was by far the best and a highlight of this. Overall, not bad. Not the best, but not bad either. I would say it's pretty good. Now, this is rather interesting. I'm the only one on this platform right now. There is no one else that I can see. Osgood Station, now we're just taking two stations down to Union, and that's when then the go train departs in half an hour. So hopefully, I think we'll have, yeah, we'll definitely have enough time. Just go train to Bramley, and then I'm changing to the go bus to go back to the university, and then I just walk back, and then that will be basically done and back.
Okay, I didn't think that this I'll be putting this in the same video, but here we go. We're in Jinzakaya, so the Japanese all you can eat. Uh, long story short, I was help, I was helping a friend with physics for quite a while. So in return, she was like, "I treat you to all, sushi all you can eat." So like, I'm not complaining, am I? So yeah, we're just waiting for food to arrive. And honestly, I've been to this area before, just a, a different store in, in downtown Kitchener. This is the Waterloo one. Not sure how this one is, but I think it'll be just as good. So it's end of term. Keep going. Just keep going. It's end of term. Keep going. It's end of term. So we're um, celebrating by going to this sushi place and like, yeah, I'm gonna film more stuff on Aiden's phone. All right, so now that it's sun it's Sunday evening, I'm just here at editing this vlog now. I haven't actually started it, I'm about to, but I would say these three days have been pretty fun. A lot of good food, a lot of things that I've been doing, hanging out with friends. So honestly, I would say it's been a pretty productive weekend and I'm pretty happy with that result. And I guess that's going to be it for this week's vlog. I don't know when the next one will be out just because academic terms is coming up, which means the workload is going to go back up to sky high. But Maybe I can get something out within that time. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all next time. See ya.